Namaste. My name is Dr. Ajay Singh Thapa. I'm an ED consultant. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to identify patency of radial artery as well as identification of flow of radial artery by the ultrasound. This is a modified Allen test to detect patency of radial as well as ulnar artery flow. We have to squeeze both of them and release. You can look at this is a pill. First, we have to release the ulnar artery, and this is a, you can see the flow of then release. Now we're releasing the radial artery. Before initiating the any procedure we need to clean our area of insertion with chlorhexidine we need to keep our patient hand at the 45 degrees to align the artery uh, so we need to keep our patient's hand with the cushion at 45 degrees and we need to tap it to stabilize the hands of the patient Ultrasound is one of the best methods to identify the artery. For the ultrasound, we need a linear probe and we have to adjust our view. We have to hold our probe with the pen holding techniques and we need to gel it. And we have to orient our position. Okay, this is a right, this is a left. And uh, we can hold our hands. If you look at the, um, this is a radial artery. You can look at this is a radial artery, and this is a pulsatile, and this is a partially compressible. If I compress a little bit, it's all the veins are compressed, and the artery is non-compressible. That's how we identify. This is a transverse view of radial artery. Uh, if you have some confusion, we can put on the dark color doppler. If you look at the color doppler, you can see that there is a pulsatile radial artery with a. You can identify that pulsatile radial artery superficially, and there is a black over there. Even we can put on the doppler on top on that. You can identify there is a flow in the radial artery the method of identification of radial artery as well as radial artery flow. Uh, this is how we identify the area insertions. Next video will be on uh, how to insert the cannula under the ultrasound guidance. Thank you for watching this video.